have Jerson here from endotechblackspot.com right now with AT&T Galaxy S3. I'll be showing you how to factory reset your Galaxy S3 for AT&T or any other Galaxy S3. This will work same for any Galaxy S3. So to do this process I'm using the AT&T that's what I said AT&T but as I said again worked for any other Galaxy S3. Now keep in mind we are not unrooting your phone. We are not flashing custom firmware or stock firmware by using the Odin method we're just resetting the data to factory so we are going to erase all your system setting we are going to erase all your contact and stuff the pictures will be there but let's see if it erases the pictures too so it's been quite a while since I factory reset my phone so that's why I kinda of forgot if it doesn't I don't wanna research or anything but uh, let's go ahead and start doing it first of all you're going to power off your phone okay power that off this 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 step is done after you are you have unrooted your Galaxy S3 and then you can do this step your phone will look like how it came out of the box just like how it came out of the box so we're going to press volume up power and the home button first of all let go the power button second you will see the screen and let go the two button now you will see the Samsung 3e stack recovery and there you go and let me go ahead and bring the phone closer so you can see it better and just give me a sec oops kind of the focus is not setting up there you go so here what you're going to do is you're going to scroll one and two wipe data factory reset press power button to select and volume down again and there you will see all the process again web data factory reset volume down only works volume up does not work as you can see formatting data formatting cache once it's done press the back button press the power button which will reboot your phone right there your Galaxy S3 again sorry for the focusing issue I was doing it manually and once it boots up you will see everything erased and when you want to sell it or do a warranty exchange or do whatever else you is your purpose to factory reset this is how you do it after you unroot your phone so as you can see the booting up will take time because you just erase the whole system and it is booting up on the new system you kept your lights are on so you know it's gonna boot up and there you go it's the new system as you can see how you do it when your phone came out you're supposed to set up the system and stuff and now you have factory reset your Galaxy S3 
as always guys thank you for watching subscribe like my videos i will see you in the next video which will be how to root and install clockwork recovery on your macbook pro so subscribe i will see you later